Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, I'm going to show you the section element. Now we're gonna start by creating a billboard for our website, and we're gonna be using the section to talk about what exactly that means. So let's get going on that right now. So in the last video, we got our header going and it's looking pretty good. So let's actually check out our website. I'm gonna cl right click on this, reveal and finder. We just drop this right into our browser here. Okay, so as you can see, we're doing pretty good here. It's looking all right. I think one of the big things that we want to do next is to make this sort of like a billboard here for our homepage. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Now in our HTML, what we want to do is we want to come down to this main section. Now before we just had an H2 and we had a paragraph with a span and stuff, we had this just inside of the main. However, there's another containing semantic element called section. Now section basically says, here is some content on your website that is grouped together. Now a section can be all sorts of things, right? You could have a section that's essentially your detail page where you have some content on there. You could have a section like this that's a billboard. You could have a section that's something like a newsletter sign up. Either way, a section is sort of grouping like content together in what's considered a main content section of your website. Now there's another tag that's sort of like section called a side that we're gonna be going over in the next video. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste all this stuff in between our section tags here. And let's go ahead and let's indent these correctly. You can do that just by highlighting everything and hitting tab if you're using Sublime Text. Now as you can see here, uh, we haven't really added anything that is going to change the way this looks. If we come back to our website, refresh, it looks the exact same. So a section like a div tag is really just a block level semantic tag. Now, the difference between a div and a section is that a section essentially has meaning where a div really has no meaning. To a screen reader or anything like that, a section really just denotes that all of the content within this is going to be related. So when you're writing your code, it's important to think about things that not only humans are going to read, but uh, screen readers and robots and all sorts of things are going to read your code and have a better understanding of it. Okay, so now that we have this section, let's go ahead and turn this into more of a billboard here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this intro text part two. We don't need it anymore. And likewise, I'm gonna go ahead to our CSS. I'm gonna delete that CSS as well. Part two down here. We don't need it, okay? We just were sort of showing off some coloring there before. Now let's go ahead and give this main section a class name. And this class is just going to be equal to billboard. Okay, like so. Now we can come in here and we can give our billboard some properties here. So let's add a new line there, CSS. We can say billboard and we can give this a background color. And let's give this a, just a background color of a light gray for now. Uh, we're not going for any style awards with this. And let's go ahead and make this text align center. So we can say text hyphen align center. This is going to bring all of the text that's within this billboard to aligning center. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh. Cool. So we now have learning uh, with level up tutorials and learning to build websites. Okay. Let's actually make this a little bit lighter of a gray instead of this dark gray. We did 999 before. We can do something like CCC, which is uh, just a couple shades lighter than FFF, which is pure white. There we go. Now you'll notice there's some weird space between here. This is the same issue that we were having before where the uh, heading of our website was pushing down the header. So this is the margin on this H2 is actually pushing uh, down this billboard. So let's come back to our code and we can say any H2s that are within billboard like so, we can say any H2s that exist within billboard Let's not give them a margin top. So we can say margin top zero. Okay, like so. Now we have no margin top. 
Let's come back here. Cool. Now let's actually do some work to get this pushed down a little bit. We don't want uh, all of this. We want the gray to be butt up right against the blue here, but we don't want this text to be right directly underneath that. Same with, we want some padding between this text and the billboard itself. So let's go ahead and come to our billboard and let's add some padding. So we can say padding and let's just add 60 pixels of padding on all sides. So this is going to add padding on the left and right, top and bottom. If we refresh, you can see we now have this billboard. Now it's a little bit heavy for the padding. Let's knock it down to something like 40. Save it, refresh, perfect. So we now have this heading, we have a billboard, and we have the basics of footer content down here. Great, so we've added our first section. We've made a billboard, it's pretty boring. We'll get to that in a little bit by adding some more interesting elements to this. However, we have some nice things going here and it's starting to come together. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.